Our national anthem from Paul Walsh Field in New Bedford. Joe Cabral, Chris Santos, and Miles Jackson with the action for you this afternoon from Paul Walsh Field in New Bedford. The big three matchup between the New Bedford High Whalers and the Brockton High Boxers. And it's a big one for New Bedford at 6-0 on the season. Brockton coming into this one at 3-3. Three three. Equally as important for the Boxers. They can still win the big three. And they need a win here today over the Whalers. As you can see, we're joined today by Miles from Brockton Cable Access. So Miles will have a perspective for us on the boxers who come into this one, as I mentioned, at 3-3, three and three, Chris. But records can be deceiving when it comes to the boxers because they play a very difficult schedule. Yeah, I sure do. Opened up with Duxbury, then played Lynn Classical, Natick, Everett, Zaverian, and Durfee last week. And we are underway. Amik Watterson with a kickoff all the way to the end zone. And Jaheed Barrows will let it hit there. So the Whalers will take over with the football right at the 20-yard line. So, Miles, as you're joining us here today from Brockton Cable Access, 3-3 three and three on the season for Brockton, but they do have an explosive offense. Yeah, they do. The only problem so far this year has been basically um, penalties. Um, they've had a number of touchdowns called back because of penalties. So they got to really have their A game on today to beat this undefeated um, Whaler team. The quarterback for New Bedford, of course, is Ethan Medeiros, number four. He'll line up in the shotgun with an offset pistol look to the right. Fake the handoff, keep the football, and then go here near side. A pass intended for David Abelorinwa, incomplete. It'll be second and ten for the Whalers at their own 20. Miles, we know a lot about this offense, averaging 33.8 points a game, but they've given up 27 a game as well, too. Tell us a little bit about this defense. Well, you know, the defense is their experience, got a lot of seniors on it, but they gave up 42 points against the Lynn Classical, so that hyped up the um, the numbers that they've um, given up, but mm -hmm. they've um, basically shut out some teams and um, done pretty well on defense for the most part. Boxers are coming off a 49-8 win last week. Medeiros keeps the football, goes straight up the middle, gets it out close to the 24-yard line. So a gain of about four, and that'll set up a third and six. Miles, they played Lynn Classical, lost 48-40. They played Natick, lost 35-25. And they played Everett, lost 36-21. In the three losses, what did you see there that was really the downfall of Brockton? Was it a lot of penalties? Uh, and a, and a it, lot of it was a combination of penalties, but those are some good teams. Oh, Everett, absolutely. Um, so uh, they qu didn't quite step up their A game as mm -hmm. far as defense goes, yep, yep. but there was some good football teams. Yeah, I'm play. sure. Oh, no, those are three great teams right there. Wales will set up with trips to the right and a back offset to the quarterback, Medeiros. He'll break the pocket. Look far side for Barrows. Pass was incomplete off the outstretched hand of Shahid Barrows. And the Whalers will be forced to punt on their first possession of the afternoon. Well, two plays that not really uh, sums up what Ethan Medeiros is all about this year. The first one was a bad pass to Abilene. You see, he wanted to pull the trigger there, then he rolls out, then he throws one high. Good coverage, obviously, on the play by number 16, Isaiah Laguerre. And it's punt time for New Bedford. Yeah, and you saw some uh, he um, heavy pressure on the quarterback, especially on that play right there. Laguerre back to return the punt for Brockton. Barrows in punt formation. We'll get a kick away, wobbly spiral. Tumbling here near side, and then will bounce inside the 40 of Brockton and be touched down at the 36-yard line, where the boxers will have the football for the first time this afternoon. Miles, tell us a little bit about Devontae Medley, the quarterback of the boxers. Yeah, Devontae Medley, he's the uh, running type quarterback. They use the option, and they usually wait till the last second before he goes in the running back's hands, or he keeps it. He can run the football. He can. He's a pretty good passer. I think he's a better passer when he's on the run, but uh, he is dangerous. So that pistol look right off the bat, just like New Bedford ca uh, came out with. So let's see what the, the boxes come up with in the first play. Medley, the quarterback. Watterson is the tailback. Man in motion, that's Laguerre. They'll give him the football on the jet sweep. Still on his feet at the 45. Now midfield has a first down into New Bedford territory, all the way down to the 40-yard line. Well, not a play that New Bedford has not seen this year because they see it all the time. Dartmouth carries it and a few others as Brockton gets to the line quickly in a hurry-up offense. Gain of 24 on the play for Laguerre. Now Brockton will spread the field. Empty backfield with the quarterback Medley in the shotgun. 
He'll take the snap, look to his right. He's going to keep the football on a quarterback draw. Got to the outside, Medley on his feet. Hammered out of bounds by Barros, but not oh. until he got inside oh, the yeah. 35. And, and then a push from to behind. To the 33-yard line. Oh, yeah, number 74 came in. Uh, Calvin Andrade and just decked Barros from behind. So they'll get a flag on that one. And they're actually going to sit number 74 off to the side and said, hey, that's a bad mistake. Yeah, it'll be a personal foul. Yeah. So the hit against Medley was inbound, oh, so yeah. it was a good hit by Barros. And then the retribution will draw the penalty against Brockton. Yeah, this is something Brockton has a problem doing. As, like you said, um, Joe, that was a good hit. It was inbound, yeah, yeah. good hard hit. And um, unfortunately, one of our Brockton players lost his head yep. trying to protect his player, but it's going to cost us yeah. 15 yards. Well, discipline, Miles, and that's, yeah. you know, that's part of the coaching staff to say, hey, fellas, you know, we got to control our emotions. It's a big game. They know it. You know, we went there last year and, and beat Brockton up there. I, I'm sure Brockton was thinking revenge all week long and maybe all year long to say we can't wait to get to New Bedford. Yeah, especially when they're undefeated. Yep. Trey Kalia Hall flanked wide to the left. Straight back, it's Medley. He's going to look right sideline. Pass is overthrown. He was looking for number 11, Navon Reed, the big 6-foot, 4-inch, 210-pound wideout of the boxers. He was going up against Barrels, the 6'1", 175 defensive back, one of the stronger players in the backfield uh, for New Bedford. Yeah, Navon's a big target for the uh, boxers. Um, they like to go, they don't go to him often, but when they do, just get it in the area and he, he can get that, go up for that football. Look him to stretch the field a little bit, Miles, try to get some depth uh, out there, maybe use him later on. Just vertical routes that yeah. time from Brockton as they'll empty the backfield again. Quarterback Medley, empty backfield, takes the snap, looks, looks, middle of the field. He's going to go long and deep, passes overthrown, had a man open. It was Amik Watterson behind the secondary, but the ball was well overthrown, and Brockton will be forced to punt. Interesting, Joe. You usually don't see four receivers on one side. It's usually three and two, but Brockton has shown that here um, on this first series. Usually he trips to his side, and yeah. then a tight end and a wide out to the other side, mm -hmm. but Brockton used four wide receivers yeah. here to the near side. Boxers will punt the football away. End over end kick, tumbling down inside the 20, all the way down to about the 13 yard line where it's touched there and New Bedford will have the football for the second possession of the afternoon. Yeah, that was an in interesting play call, Joe, with um, Watterson out there. Usually, Watterson doesn't go on deep routes. Um, I guess they tried to fool New Bedford a little bit, but New Bedford was ready. And again, the receivers were past the secondary, just balls that were overthrown there. And plenty of time for Devontae Medley, but as you've mentioned to us, Miles, he likes to run the football a bit more than throw it. And so Brockton unable to convert on that opportunity in New Bedford territory. Here go the Whalers with a football second possession. They'll give it to Palmer, his first carry of the afternoon, and he got to the 10, and that's all. Two guys really pushing each other down there, number 25 and number 33. That's Cameron Perry going at it with a Johnny Horn. Referees let it play, but as you said, a big loss, uh, maybe one or two yards for New Bedford on a Nigel Palmer run. So. If Effort looks a little bit nervous here with this offense, Joe, I thought Medeiros had a not a very good first series. Uh, Did not. Yeah, two two throws that didn't even come close, and they just lose two or three here with Palmer. Yeah, loss of three on the play. So second and 13 now for the Whalers at their own 10-yard line. Palmer's offset to the right. They'll give him the football again. Breaks one tackle. Still on his feet. Middle of the field. Palmer got it out close to the 20-yard line on second and then third effort. Yeah, great effort by the running back there for New Biffin. I thought he was down. Five, five yards earlier, but uh, somehow he got out of that with a great effort. Yeah, he did. It was number 77, uh, Naziah Amor, come in, and Palmer got away from him. That center of gravity low to the ground, so it'll bring up about third and four. But, Joe, the 3-4 defense, that they're stepping up in that gap, them linebackers, and taking over, and they've done it on the, on the last two plays. That was another one that could have been a loss for a down as well. Whalers go twins left and right with the running back Palmer offset to the right of Medeiros. He'll roll here near side, has a man, passes complete. It's going to be close to the first down. Looks a little bit short, to be frank with you, Chris. We'll have to see where they spot it. It is short. Real right on it. 
And New Bedford will be forced to punt. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but if the receiver didn't lose his footing, he would have had a chance yes, to get a yard or two, which all he needed. So just yeah. Perry out in the flat, but as he caught it, went to the turf, and it's back to punting for New Bedford. Slipping to the turf there, Cameron Perry would have been able to get the first down. Instead, the Whalers will be forced to yeah. punt with a fourth and one. Here's Barrows, takes the high snap. Wobbly kick, very short this time. Will hit down at about the 44-yard line of New Bedford and be downed at the 45. So that's only a 22-yard punt for Shahid Barrows. Yeah, at the moment, it looks like Brockton's defensive line's got a little bit up and up on um, New Bedford's offensive line. They've done a bit, little bit more in penetration and holding off on that run and basically been pressuring that quarter, Madero's the quarterback most of the time when he's gone back to pass. Well, Chris, for most of the season, the Whalers have been able to pick their poison, go running game or passing mm -hmm. game. Today, they might be forced to be a little bit more one-dimensional. Here's a handoff <laughs> on the jet sweep for the second time here this afternoon, and it's at Amik Watterson with more than enough for a first down as he's brought down inside the Whaler 30 at the 29-yard line. Just lined up on the left side, comes across, quick snap, hand him the ball. Oh, he could have kept it. Watch. He waits, he waits, and then he gives it. You just wait to see what develops. Good read by Medley. Watterson, the lone running back. Medley gives it to Watterson this time, straight up the gut, and he's met in the backfield for a loss of one. Yeah, now you see, now Medley could have maybe waited a little bit longer and say, no, I'm not going to give it this time, depending on the penetration of the defense. And New Bedford did a good job uh, there for obviously maybe a loss of one uh, on the play. So we'll bring up second and 11. Yep. You bet his defense was ready for that run play right there. They, they met him right there at the line. Like you said, loss of one. The jet sweep has been the offense so far here for Brockton. They'll send a man in motion, and they'll give the football, keep the football yep. here. This time it's Medley as he faked the handoff and gets it all the way down to about the 22-yard line. He's going to be about three yards short of the first down. So that time faking the handoff to Rodrigo Lima. And then keeping it straight up the gut, it was Devontae Medley. Yeah, but I like the way Medley saw that when he realized that there was good jump. Watch the defense on the right side. See how they came up? Looked like they would have had a few guys there to make that play, so he makes the good call and the good read. Like third the, um, third and two. Yeah, New Bedford's defense was fooled on that a little bit. As you said, Medley saw the gap. Yep. And took advantage. Watterson, the lone running back, offset to the right of the quarterback, Medley. They're going to run the option to the right. With the football, it's Medley. Has enough for a first down as he's bumped down right at the 15-yard line. Could have even pitched that, Joe, and would have had more. I know he gets the first, but he pitches that. Could go right down the sideline. Let's watch it here. Now, if he's going to go to number two, he'd go now, and he didn't. And I think he still would have had a lot more. So, yeah. you know, tough tough read. Good call because Watterson was there to take it. Old school option. They, yeah. they were not afraid of lateraling the football once you got beyond the line of scrimmage. Today, most of the time, it happens in the backfield. Yeah, good job by Amor up front there, sealing that, and he did it again just now. Medley just with a straight off tackle dive, mm -hmm. and he gets it inside the 10. They'll mark it down at about the 8-yard line, so that's a gain of about 7 on the play by Devontae Medley, and they'll get right back to the line of scrimmage. Amor. Taking a page out of Auburn's playbook. They're going to run a pitch here and get the football to Watterson. Watterson inside the 10 to about the 9. Back to the line of scrimmage, Miles, and that's about all. Yeah, you know, going back to that last play, Medley's one of those type of quarterbacks. He likes to keep the football, but I, I always say, you know, give it to your back because less chance of getting hurt or something. I know it, it's, sure. you know, you're, you're into the game and everything, but I know Medley loves to run that football, but he's got a great running back in Watterson to uh, pitch it off to. I like the way Brockton has been able to move the ball when they've gone more of that north to south. Sometimes when you stretch it out east to west like that, things take a long time to develop and lets the defense come around. Let's see if Medley goes back to up the middle and maybe keeps it himself. Either so one. Hula Hall is flanked wide to the left, yeah. keeping the football. It's Medley. Yeah. Medley will get it down to about the six-yard line. It's going to be very close here. Might be a little bit short, but yeah. probably... Most definitely four down territory. Yeah, he's going to be short by maybe a yard, but that's a good open field tackle by yes. number two, St. Louis, who uh, makes that. He doesn't make that, Joe. That, that's six points. 
easily. Yeah, I have to agree on that, uh, yep. Chris. That was a great shoestring, shoestring tackle to keep him from going in the end zone. So fourth and short, less than a yard here with the football inside the six-yard line. They have to get to about the five. Yep. I wouldn't even worry about the receivers here. I would be worrying about more of Watterson and Medley. I can't see them throwing with fourth and this close. You wouldn't think so. Medley no. going to take it straight ahead. Medley He's going to get gonna be close. Ooh, He's inside he the five. Should have enough for the first down. Yep. They're going to mark it just inside the five. And it's enough for a first down for Brockton. Now you saw Dawsonburg come in, and that's when they go to that heavy jumbo kind of defense and get a bigger body in the middle. Hey, they were there, but... It was only maybe a, an inch or two to get the first. Brockton will get an inch first and goal from the five. Yeah. <laughs> Medley, the quarterback, offset to the right is Watterson. Twins again left and right here this time for Brockton. They're going to run the option to the right. Keeping the football is Medley. He'll get it down to about the one-yard line. Yeah, right, Miles. He likes to keep the ball. Yeah. I mean, there's another one that I thought he could have made a pitch <laughs> yes, and, yes. and be in the end zone. Exactly. Surprising. Exactly. Let's see if we got that on the replay because if you look, I think Watterson's there and he could take off on that one. Brockton right back to the hurry up. They're going to use split backs this time in the shotgun. Give the football to oh. Watterson. Hit in the backfield. The question will be, oh, was that a was face down. mask? Because he was spun around he there a bit. He was spun around. I don't think it was. And then his knee went down. I think he's going to be short by another yard. He'll lost lost about a half yard on yeah. the play. They'll mark it outside the one now. Watch here. Just the shoulder pads, I guess. As you saw at number six, Abelarinwa. Rake across the upper body of Watterson. Yeah, that was a great stance by New Bedford's front line there. Yeah, the problem with this one, Miles, is though it's, you know, it, it's still two plays to yeah. get one yard. Very difficult to ask for a defense to come up three in a row. Offset to the left of the quarterback, Medley. It's Watterson. Medley's going to keep the football. Try to get, get to the again. outside. Not this time. He's met in the backfield. Now, this is going to be an interesting call here, Miles, because you just lost maybe a yard or two. Now, do you roll? And you said you like him when he rolls to throw the ball. Yeah. And on fourth down, you may want to here. Yeah, that... That play right there developed very slowly, yeah. and I think it was because of the defense coming in and getting some um, penetration there and didn't give uh, Medley a chance to really do his thing. Football back now at the three-yard line. This would be a big stand, Joe, for Huge. New Bedford if they can come away with this one, but see how Medley's by himself, so obviously it's spread. Now remember, he can run, so... See if he rolls out. Empty the backfield. I look for Medley here. He's nope. going to look to his right. Fires. Oh, no. Pass is incomplete. Wow. Medley was looking for number 13, Saula Hall. Yep. And the pass was well ahead of Hall. He yep. could not get there. Didn't even have a chance to get there. And so Brockton turns it over on down. Miles, you surprised by the play call? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I thought they would have tried to option it out to the outside, use this um, Brockton speed. I agree with that. And I think one problem with Medley was there was some of those new bed, big New Bedford players were jumping up. And now the, he really didn't well see. The, yeah, but did you see what Medley did, though, when he got the ball? He ducked low first, like to say, I'm going to go low and run yeah. it, and then stop and make the throw. Maybe try to get him to bite. They didn't bite. No, they didn't bite at all. Good, good stop. Give the football to Palmer. Ooh. Nearly Ooh. had a seam there. Oh. Palmer was brought down on a nice tackle by... Wanodi, yep. yeah. he looked very like he was yeah. going to split the seam and maybe go the distance. Yeah, that was a, a game saving as far as a possible touchdown saving That's tackle. possible, 98 yards right there, but uh, it's a good one, as you said, as Wanodi makes the tackle there. Bring up second down in about three for New Bedford as time running down here in the first quarter, about 40 seconds remaining. Very good. Fast-paced first quarter with Brockton and New Bedford keeping the football on the ground primarily. Medeiros will take the snap. Give it here to Palmer. He'll burrow out for enough for a first down as he gets it out close to the 14-yard line. A little pushing and shoving over there. And this should probably, let's see. I don't think it will end the quarter. They're going to move the chain, so New Bedford could allow the yeah. clock to run and let the quarter run out, but really... No need here. As yep. soon as they set the chains, they'll start the clock. Hey, it looks like number 12, Devin Fortes, was complaining about something to the referee. Referee went over to the New Bedford uh, huddle yep. and mentioned something to him. 
to them. Medeiros, the quarterback, will take the snap, roll to his right. He's going to throw the football here, trying right, to run it. get to the sideline instead and step out of bounds at about a flat. Nope. the okay. 17, I think. Yep. And there's, oh, and that's a late there's flag. There's a late flag. Wow, where did that come from? Looks like it came from the referee. I know, no, I know, but I mean. Who's uh, talking to number 11, that was the Navon one. Reed. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Navon might have said something. All right. The contact was much earlier, so maybe tackled a little bit out of bounds. Personal but foul. They're going to say personal yeah. foul, so that's not unsportsmanlike. You yeah, see, now this is the thing Brockton doesn't need to do no. going against this tough New Bedford team. They yep. can't make mental mistakes like that. Um, it, it, just, it just kills things. First quarter comes to a close from Paul Walsh Field in New Bedford with a score. New Bedford nothing and Brockton nothing. Joe Cabral, Chris Santos, and Miles Jackson with the action for you from Paul Walsh Field in New Bedford. We're on Facebook Live, the New Bedford Cable Network, and Brockton Cable Access. So glad you're with us here this afternoon for this big three matchup between the Whalers and Boxers. Always a big one when these two teams in the Big Three Conference meet up. This year, no difference. Brockton yeah. coming off that <laughs> big win last week, Chris, over Durfee, 49-8. to eight. Yeah, you know, every time you play uh, the Hilltoppers, who obviously is not strong this year. Obviously, we have them on Thanksgiving Day, but that's what you do to those teams, and that's what uh, Brockton ended up doing. Went right after them. And uh, it was like 33 to nothing, I believe, at the half. And they just took over there in the second half as well. So it's a very interesting first quarter here with no points on the board, with both teams being able to score. And both teams have given up points. I'm surprised it is that right now. But it's the big stand by New Bedford that has them the ball right now as we start the second quarter. And as the game goes on, what's, what it's going to come down to is who, who makes the fewest mistakes out there on the football field. Mentally, too, yes, not, not exactly. just on the physical part during the game. Barrows will head into the backfield. They're going to run the option here with Barrows. Take it yourself. Medeiros is going to keep the football cut to the outside, and he'll be close to a first down. He's going to have it as they mark the football across the 45. Yep. Right. So by moving Barrows into the backfield, you were able to run the option. Mm -hmm. And you called it early on there, Chris. You saw that Medeiros had the edge and just keep the football. Yeah. But I think he should have even sprinted even faster right from the start. He kind of waited a little bit, and he would have got to the corner even faster. He does pick up the first down and a nice chunk of yardage there, so trying to get the midfield out of the Whalers. Second quarter action, 11.36 left. Give it inside to Palmer. Palmer still on his feet. He's at the 40. Nigel Palmer inside the 30 all the way down to the 26-yard line. Well, Miles, I know you haven't seen much of Palmer, but that's what he does best. He stays very low to the ground. He's got a very center base all the way down with those legs, and he just keeps driving even when he takes a first hit. Yeah, we've heard about Palmer, and now we're seeing him in, in live. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, he has great balance. 28-yard run there for Nigel Palmer. We apologize for the issues yep. with replay. But back to the live action. Medeiros with the football. Give it to Palmer again. Same play. Off left tackle. This time gets it just inside the 20-yard line for a gain of about five. Interesting, Joe. He hasn't run the ball once to the right-hand side. He's always gone to his left. So we've got to remember that. See how he stays on his balance. Here's a big 28-yard oh, yeah. run, Chris. that low center of gravity. Let's see if he gets to the right behind Dawsonberg on that side. No one covering the slot receiver, now they do. Madero's keeping the football this time. Met at the line of scrimmage, maybe a gain of one. Yeah, good one-on-one -on -one open field. Sean O'Brien, number seven, just stepped up into the hole and met Madero's right there. They'll give him the forward progress, but he's gonna be short by at least two or three. Yeah, it was a nice big hit there by the linebacker. Third and three. Yeah, O'Brien listed at 5'11", 200. So two down territory for New Bedford. Let's see what Harry Lowe, John Seed, Mark DeBrito all want to call here. Perry offset to the left of the quarterback, Medeiros. Barrows in motion. Again, that option look for the Whalers. They'll pitch it to Barrows. He'll try to get to the outside. Shake and bake, but he's going to be swarmed under for yes. a loss. 
And, and a then late, here we go and with the late with flags. flags. Let's see who this one's on. Don't know if this is Brockton again, but I mean, God, you, 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 Miles, you, you make a three yard loss, if not even more, and then you get a flag. I, I can't understand why they would do that. And again, the referee with the flag. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what the call is. Looks like they're gonna send someone to the sideline here. So they're going to the head coach to talk to him and see what's going on. And if it is on this could Brockton, be out. This, this is Brockton sh classic shooting themselves in the foot. Yep. So let's see what happens over here now. If a player gets two personal fouls, let's see, personal foul called against Brockton. Well, and number to 87 the came 87 off. this time. And right? he's got tossed. He's tossed, yeah. And he is tossed. That's Kevin McCarthy. Wow. Yeah, that's a big loss for the defense. See, now I missed the first time he did it. Here's the replay, Chris. Let's, let's see. see. 80, here's 87 see coming in your pitcher now. Helmet to helmet? No, nothing there. There was a little push. Well, there was he a got helmet pushed. to helmet before that, but I don't know. Hard to see. Hard to see where that. 87 is out, though, Joe. That, that's the key. Right, and that's you, the on the replay there, you didn't see the only much thing of I anything. The only thing I know is his helmet was helmet to Barrows, and that's all, as he clipped and went by. If we can run that back again, you will see 87 coming, because that's who he threw out, unless it, the, he's got the wrong number. No, he's going with 16 out of the game. Right, I, I didn't think it was 87. Yeah, 16 he's saying is out, not 87. Laguerre. And Laguerre's losing it right now. See, and, and that's that's a big loss right there, Laguerre. Laguerre heads to the sideline. Yeah, see, there was a difference because... Uh, yeah, because 87 no. really didn't do anything. Yes. He wasn't even involved in yep. the play. Yep. So and the coaching Brockton staff is, is not happy no. here at all. Coaching staff is beside themselves, and they got to control uh, number 16 because right now right, yeah. they've got a few coaches just holding them down, saying, hey, you got to relax. He's not happy. Um, so I, I don't know where this is going right now, but it looks like half the distance to the goal looks like first down at the 11. So another personal foul. Whew. Colombo can't be happy about this. He's, he's squawking right now. Football is marked now at the 11 yep. yard line. So Laguerre, wide receiver slash defensive back senior, six feet, 190. And I'm sure, Miles, you would know that he's probably one of their big defensive guys on the outside as athletic as he is. Big defense as well as offense. Yeah. I mean, he's a big part of that offense Probably too. Probably losing more on that side yeah. than the defensive, than defensive side. Yeah, defensive side. So yeah. Brockton's defense has to do right now. They have oh to boy. mentally recharge themselves and get into the football game. Don't worry about what they're doing. They just got to keep their cool because yep. they see the referees see everything. Yep. So they're going to have to really um, play within their heads they can't let the emotions take over. It looks like the referee here again going over to the Brockton sideline again. Now, if it's at the 11, the chain should move because I'm not getting. It's a first down. Yep. You can see that it's beyond the sticks. Now, there's a lot of, a lot of emotions right now on that bench. There's coaching staffs, there's people pushing and shoving. There's, there's a lot of things going on over there. Yeah. Brockton's got to get it under control. They, they got to get back into this, as Miles said, mentally more than the game itself, or they're just going to let this uh, drive slip away quickly. Already four personal fouls called against the boxers. And Laguerre's on the sideline, yeah. taking off his jersey and yeah, his shoulder he's, pads. He's losing it right now. Mm hmm. Medeiros. Reverse, Reverse with Barrows. Reverse, they're going to get it to Barrows. He'll try to get to the outside. He's met and brought down at the 10-yard line. Picked yeah. up only a yard. He did not come up, Joe, and step in. He did not see as a good job of shedding the block exactly. off of Dawsonburg. Watch it now. He's, Dawsonburg's got him. you got to cut to the inside and not let that happen. He waited too long. The block was there. Dawsonburg was on him. Yeah, that was a big play by uh, Asari. Sure was. Like you said, to shed that block. He did. He did a great job of doing it. And then O'Brien stepped up to help out as well. And second down, and Bailey got a yard. So only a gain of one. Running back Palmer's offset to the left of Medeiros. And we have a timeout. Yep. Brockton. So the ball's on the right hash, Joe. 
Short side of the field, usually Palmer likes to run to his left. We haven't seen Medeiros really roll out to his left as much this year as he has maybe to the right-hand side. So I know they're trying to get the playmakers with the ball. They try to get barrels on that one. I, I just don't think he saw um, Dawsonberg, you know, really doing the block. Maybe he didn't see the, the guy there. And next thing you know, he comes right off and does a good job. Here we go. Well, they're watching Laguerre, just to making sure what he's doing. Took his doing. shoulder pads off now, yeah. has his jersey back on, so he's trying to explain to one of the coaches what happened. And I'm sure he's saying, mm -hmm. Coach, uh, it wasn't that bad. Somebody did something to me, and I did something in return, yeah. and then I'm the one that got caught. And you know what they say, you know, it's always the one retali yep. retaliating that gets caught. Usually the case, unfortunately. New Bedford with a football, second and nine. They can get a first down from the 10 yard line. Madero's back, will look to his right, lob to the end zone, has oh. Barrows. He has the football, he has a touchdown. Yeah, but there is a flag down, I believe, and I think they're going to call offensive there pass could interference. could be offensive pass interference here on Barrows. Let's see what the call is. Perfectly thrown fade route yep. to the corner. So the only options here, he was either out of bounds, Chris, or it's an offensive pass interference penalty. Let's see what the officials have here. Referee, yep. pass interference against number 10 on the offense. Yep. They're going to move the football back. Watch it here, guys. One-on-one -on -one battle between Barrows and him. And yeah. press coverage. Didn't really look that bad. Not that no, much. It didn't no. really look like much. Hand fighting, but yep. again, remember, Brockton's had four personal foul calls, yep. so the officials, they're only human. Mm -hmm. You would think that they would look, and you know, they're looking for a way to maybe even it up a little bit, and saw a little bit of hand fighting there. Yeah. So second and 10, as Barrows will come to the left this time. So that moves the football back to the 12 yard line. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess they're saying the penalty, I, I don't understand that marking at all. It's supposed to be from the line of scrimmage. New Bedford's all out of sync right now. Everybody's running all over the place. Receivers going everywhere. And, and Chris here, if if I'm Brockton, that's not, a, that's not the right spot. The line of scrimmage was the 10. Right. If you get, if you get a pass interference penalty, it's from, not from the spot of the foul downfield, it's from the, the line, line of scrimmage. scrimmage. Yeah to move the football back. So not sure why the football is at the 12. They called it as if it was a spot foul yep. and then marked it back from the two 10 yards to the 12. Yeah, I'm assuming that's what they have done. I I think that's what the coach I'm is talking sure. right now to the referee. And it certainly would be what I'd be talking to him about. Again, offensive pass interference is from the line of scrimmage, mm -hmm. moving the football back. It's not holding, holding downfield on a running play. Yes, you take it from the spot of the foul and mark the distance back. They're going to leave the football at yeah. the 12-yard line. The only thing that slowed this game down are the penalties early on. Here's Madero's going to look, middle of the field, That's has a bad oh. pass, is complete. Great Cameron catch. Perry reaching Should forward. Be in. They're going to say it's a touchdown. Wow. Wow. That was a great catch. Uh, it sure was, and we haven't seen Perry with that, but great hands on that one. Usually we've seen Barrows with it. This time it's Perry, and he just snags it out of the air and then comes right over the line for the touchdown. And Brockton's coaching staff is not going to be happy about nope. this one either because as soon as he reaches forward, he over. doesn't possess the ball to the ground. Remember, as soon as he reaches forward, hits the ground, the ball yep. jars loose. So you have to say he had three steps Made a football play. Extra point attempt here. Now for New Bedford's Cruz. Uh-oh, bad, bad snap. snap. Barrows, Barrows, he's going to get it by himself. Going to try to get to the corner. He's going to make it for the two-point conversion. Wow. So a bad snap. Brockton comes in, thinks they got a chance to block it. Nobody stays whole, Miles. Exactly. They all collapse in to try to go. In. Exactly. And then Barrows goes around on the outside. So, hey, you call fire, Joe. You call it, you take off and run. He <laughs> ran and he gets the two points. Over pursuing to the inside to try to block the extra point after the bad snap. Yep. And Barrows, the athlete that he is, just picks up the football, heads for the corner. 
and is into the end zone for the two-point conversion. I'll tell you, this second quarter has been a nightmare for the boxers. Yeah, it sure has. And, you know, again, the mental aspect for yeah. them uh, and the flags on the play, you get a play tossed, uh, you get things go against you. You finally had a flag go your way in the pass interference. But, hey, one good play, and the next thing you know, the ball's in the end zone. For Here's the replay of the... Yep, the botch. But everybody Extra collapsed down, down, especially on the yeah. right-hand side. Yes, yes. Not really the left, but the right-hand side, and that's what did it. Hey, he just waltzed yeah, into yeah, the waltzed end zone. Yeah, too easy. So the Whalers here to kick off. Remember, they had an 80-yard kick return against them yep. last week. Let's see if they go up in the air and squib one down. Cruz kicking off. That's a ball that will tumble yep. down to Brockton right at about the 23-yard line. And then just across the 35-yard line but for Joe, Brockton. You know, we talked about it before we even came on the air, me and you, and we thought this would be kind of that emotional type of game. We really did. Usually These two is. teams have that kind of way uh, of, of getting after it. Not only on the field, but obviously the talking, the barking, the chirping, the this, that, and the other thing. It's all the emotions. I, we understand that's part of the game, and it goes on that way. And right now, it's favored New Bedford more than it has Brockton. So Medley will empty the backfield, has trips to the right. New Bedford jumps. Yeah, and talk about emotions. Brockton needs to control their emotions a little bit better. New Bedford's done a great job with their emotions, but Brockton has kind of let it get the best of them, and it's cost them a player and a touchdown. So Beloy Souza jumped on that one. It'll be first and five. Brockton will stay with an empty backfield. Medley takes the snap, straight back, looks middle of the field. Wide has open. a man wide open. It's Watterson. Watterson behind the secondary. He's gone. It's a touchdown. And no flags. And he just went down the seam, Joe, and he went right around number 15 on the one-on-one -on -one coverage of Miguel Rodriguez. One play. It's a touchdown. Same play we saw earlier, guys, where he was wide open, yep. but the ball was overthrown. Not this time. Watterson able to spin around, make the grab, and then avoid the outstretched reach of Miguel Rodriguez, and he goes 60 yards for the score. The ball was a little underthrown. Yes, yes, and definitely. And he had to adjust, and he did, but Rod Rodriguez wasn't even close to him. Marcelo Tenorio on to attempt the extra point. Out of the hold of number 17, Jesus Winotti. Snap, Winati gets the hold down. The kick is wide left. No, it's just no, making it, it just, over and it, it goes in. It just made it. Looked <laughs> like it was going left. Joe, it looks like one of your chips in golf, maybe, right? One of your, uh, your pitching wedges? Not that good. Up and down? <laughs> not know. that good. Well, maybe. That went straight up in the air and probably went maybe a half a yard over the goal post. Looked like it was going wide left because it was hit so high. Yeah, that was a lollipop type of uh, point after. But it counts. <laughs> yes. Sure does. We thought it was going left, and it just kind of went, and then both officials looked at each other just to see if it made it over. It does, and it counts on the board, and it's 8-7 now. Whale is by one. Now, so going back to excuse me, going back to Watterson's touchdown, it was underthrown, yep. as uh, Chris said, but there's no way the defense, no way Watterson's going to let that one defensive no. back take him down because yep. Watterson's the type of runner <laughs> and pass receiver. It's going to take more than just one person to get him down. Yeah, right? and he already had maybe a two, three yard by the time he caught the ball. And like you said, they really had to get up on top of him. But it was the speed to get by them that just exactly. took right over. So Watterson now to kick off. Here he is. Good kick. Nice boot. Deep to the end zone. Well. If it goes in the end zone, automatically a touchback. <laughs> so Watterson has a big leg. Surprised yep. they don't use him on the extra point. But th that was the same play we saw earlier, guys. And we talk about it being underthrown. But in high school football, you frankly want the ball to be underthrown. You never want to overthrow because there's no chance to make a play. Mm -hmm. So in man coverage, especially press coverage, just put the ball up there where your player can make the play. And we saw it there. Watterson able to... Defeat the coverage of Rodriguez and go 60 yards for the score. Well, no safety out there too, Joe. So, you know, one-on-one -on -one and we would just find the open man and they did there. So a little mismatch maybe that Brockton saw and said, I think our guy's faster than your guy and we're going to go get it. And Brockton has employed the vertical route several times. That time it works. Palmer's offset to the right of the quarterback, Medeiros. They're going to give it to Palmer. 
inside. Not much this time. Maybe across the 20 to the 21, but that's all. No, New Bedford trying to get something on that offensive line. Get a little bit of a push, but Brockton's doing a good job filling the gaps. Exactly. Seeing the hole, knowing that Palmer now, that center of low gravity, might need more than one guy working together, whether it's a D-line and a linebacker filling in, but they've done a good job of maintaining him. And that, and that is the key, working together yeah. when he gets that football. So second and nine now for the Whalers. With an offset eye and a pistol look. Rolling to his right is Medeiros. He's going to look, has a man, fires, and Barrows with a diving catch. Remember, this is high yeah, school football. High school. Once you're down, <laughs> it's not the NFL. You can't get back up, but a great grab there by Shahid Barrows. Yeah, on his left side slot position. Runs a dig route about 10 yards, goes across the middle, and has to make a good catch. See him in your picture? Now he's going across now. So Medeiros waits for him, reads it, and has to make a good dive yeah, to get that one. Great catch. It's a great catch. Football at the 37-yard line on the conversion for something, New Bedford first down. Something we've seen most of this season. Number 10 with the ball in his hands. Whalers have it yep. at the 37. 6.51 left. First half action. And now he's got Sir Front one-on-one -on, -one on him. Let's see if Perry what Medeiros does. Give it to Palmer. He's well, met at the line flag's of scrimmage gonna be here, and thrown though. down. Here's a flag. No. Could have been a face mask. You saw Palmer Either a hold again. or a face mask. You saw Palmer really get jerked back, so yeah. I think you're right. It's either a hold or a face mask. The only two things that could have resulted there, personal foul, and it is yeah, a face yeah. mask against Brockton. Well, Palmer did kind of go kind of quick, and the head turned, and so the official caught it. A little tripping out there by Palmer and Looked like one of the coaches from Brockton. So. Without a perfect form tackle, yeah. usually a player is always moving forward at the point of contact unless there's a face mask. Face mask stops a player dead in his tracks. Yeah, there's another unnecessary foul by the um, boxes. That's the fifth personal foul in the afternoon. Madeiros keeps oh, it. Oh. And then he gets face mask. Yeah. Yeah. And then thrown down. And there's a third one. And don't be surprised if there's a face mask and a personal foul on top of it here. Yeah, but one might be against New Bedford. So I think there's going to be Dawsonberg may get caught for, for one as well. Let's see here. Because remember, he's, Madeiros kind of stopped once he got the face mask. Yep. He just kind of stood there like they were going to make the call. And then he got gang tackled and thrown back. So the question is, was it uh, a personal foul for throwing him to the turf or was, as you mentioned, something there I'm from Dawsonburg? Sure. And I think Dawsonburg's going to get one at the oh, end. Yeah. Now watch 77. Big, big face mask. Watch 77. Yeah. 77's going to come in and maybe push him to the ground and they called on that one. So we'll it's a couple here. here. He actually threw the defender and Medeiros to the turf. So mm -hmm. officials talking here a bit. So if there's a penalty on each side, they would be offsetting. No. Nope. But let's see. So he puts the ball yeah, I don't, first. I don't think that's what they're going to call right, so here. The ball is there, and I think they're just going to go with the run and offsetting penalties, one on one and one on the other. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just going to be the regular run. Should be second maybe in one. Yeah, there's no such thing as, as that unless they're saying it, they're dead ball fouls, right. which they can't be. A face mask right. is, is a live play, and and throwing the player down after that. Well, he's leaving the ball there right now. We're gonna have to see here because certainly that can't be the spot. Right. There's no way. And again, the box is just mentally losing it out there. Come on, back two, to two back. face yeah, masks. Two in a row. Yeah, that, that is more than emotion. That's just, you're just getting it, letting it get away from you. And, and one of the assistants came up and turned to one of his players and said, look, wrap them up, stay yeah. low, get around, stop being up high. And when you get high, obviously, the horse collars and the yep. face masks come around. So here we go. Personal foul, face mask, Brockton. Personal foul against New Bedford. It should be Dawsonburg after the play. 
Yeah, it's that's impossible. <laughs> I mean, that's not even. I don't know where that officiating. So I, that, I that's making up some officiating I, rules. I, I don't know. <laughs> on your own. Well, it's first down, nonetheless. That, that's, that's all we know. That is absolutely impossible. <laughs> Calling signals Blitz. here. Medeiros will look. Has a man. Passes complete <laughs> to the sideline. It's St. Louis. He'll get bumped out of bounds. Looks like at about the 33-yard line. Well, the officials have their hands full here this afternoon, Joe, and they, they, you know, they're trying to do the best they can. And you, you know, you're going to get things like that. You're going to get calls like that. And, uh, yeah, I don't mind the calls back but, and forth, but you can't make up the rules on where the yeah. ball's to be spotted. Yeah. So that's a gain of six on the play, second and four. Palmer's offset to the right of the quarterback, Medeiros, calling signals. They're going to run the option nope. here. Medeiros has the football. And he'll get cut down at about the 25, but he has enough for a first down. Yeah, wow. Wasted no time there, Joe. Saw Quick the hole decision. and says, hey, I'm taking off. I'm not even looking at Palmer. Exactly. Great call there. He saw, like you said, saw the lane and took it. So another New Bedford first down. Watch the replay here, guys. Yeah, see, right now, now he's just gone. I yeah. mean, he had Palmer reading it and saying it's a read option. Instead, hey, that hole is that big. I can get through there. Yeah. I'm going to pick up this first down. Good open field tackle. Ball at the 25-yard line, 5-12 remaining here in the half. Palmer's offset to the left of the quarterback, Medeiros. Barrows into the backfield. This is when they run the option. They're going to give it to Palmer. He's going to get hit in the backfield, and he's going to go down back at the 29-yard line. So that's a loss of four. Slow developing that time. Yeah, as Barrows comes back, and, and then now it's almost like uh, you're back to an I formation. And so. Uh, and you're giving it's, it's, it to it's, the it's, up man. Yeah, so Barros it, yeah. is so out know. of the play as far as blocking. Yeah. Now you have two players who can't block. So <laughs> you had both the quarterback who's giving the football and Barros who's behind the football. Yeah. Unless you think they're keying on, uh, you know, Barros on that play and they're not going to be worrying about Palmer. But I can't see Brock. They're not doing that. We have a timeout from the Whalers. So New Bedford's going to burn their first time out of the afternoon. Actually, should be the second, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> also 424 left first well, half action. Yeah, give the defense credit. They did do a nice job penetrating, kind of breaking up the flow of that yep. play. Yep. So as Mark DeBrito and the crew get together, 424 <laughs> remaining, 8-7 our score. New Bedford Cable Network this afternoon and live on Facebook as well. I... Hope people out there joining us and seeing us and watching this one. It's been a highly emotional kind of a game on both sides. To say uh, the least. A, a very physical kind of football game. Uh, yellow flags being thrown all around here, especially in the second quarter as New Bedford trying to get on the board here uh, before the second half starts at the end of this half. Very important def defensive stance for the boxers on this drive by the Whalers. They need to try to hold them and maybe make them kick a field goal. Second and 14. Medeiros will take the snap. Fake it to Palmer. He's throwing off the He's Watch gonna the look, throw. has a man open. Pass toward nope. the sideline and it's intercepted. Fine coverage there by Brockton's number 34, Markendi Suffront. And Suffront comes away with the interception. I tell you what made that play was the defensive pressure on the running back who was gonna throw the football. You saw it come up right the, there. The underneath man, Michael Fernandes, was open, Chris. It looked like he yeah. he wanted to go downfield, but the, the fine coverage there against Palmer. When you get coverage like that, Joe, run the ball. Take it yourself. You don't, oh, have, he had you don't open. have to throw that ball if yeah. you don't want to. Exactly. You, know, you can run it as well, and I thought he had space that he can take off and run. So we're at 416, Brockton with the ball. Yes, deep in their own territory, but plenty of time. And they stop New Bedford. Here's a handoff. Give the football here to Watterson. On that jet sweep to the outside, Watterson is finally brought down at the 25-yard line. Well, two things happen here, Miles. One, you get to the corner, and then two, you get some nice blocking by your receivers. And as you said earlier, it takes more than one guy maybe to put Watterson down. Yeah. Most of the time, it takes at least two, unless you get a good angle on them and get them low. You can see there, a host of Whalers had to get involved on that play. 
audible in here now is Brockton. Watterson to the left of the quarterback. They're going to yeah. do a little swing here to get it to Watterson. In the backfield, avoids a couple of tacklers and gets it out to the 30-yard line. So fine work there. Just a little swing pass, yep, and Watterson it gets it out to the 31. A little yeah. bubble screen, as they call it, to the left-hand side. Good read by Watterson to kind of cut back and get back in there. Yeah, it looks like New Bedford defense ha had him on that mm -hmm. one, but like I said, good cut back. So a gain of six on the play, and Watterson in the backfield now to the right of the quarterback, Medley. Devontae Medley takes the snap, looks downfield. He's going to go long and deep again here. Ball's up in the air, and it's caught. Battling on the outside, it was Suula Hall who and makes O'Shawn the grab Brooks. going against O'Shawn Brooks. And that's, again, what I said earlier, guys, about throwing the under-throwing a ball is much better in high school football with man coverage. Now Brooks, you know, got the turn, turned a little late, couldn't find the ball, and Hall did. Great concentration by Hall, yep. the receiver. First and 10 for Brockton now at the New Bedford 40. Rolling to his right, Medley goes down in the backfield, a loss on the play. That play just never looked good for Brockton. Bubble right the snap, the and then as he tried to roll Couldn't to his right, going. lost his footing. Clock is running here with 2.40 left in the first half. Still plenty of time yep. for the boxers, I but a loss of four on the play. Sometime Joe Medley holds that football like a, a loaf of bread, and right then and there, he's lucky that ball didn't get jarred away. Yeah, he had slipped, though, Miles, and the knee hits the ground, and oh, in okay. high school, the okay. knee hits the yeah. ground. He's not going anywhere, so... It was okay, at least on that play. Jet sweep action here. Screen. Hall, they screen. got a wide receiver screen. They get the football here to Navon Reed. Reed will get it inside the 40 down to the 37-yard line. So picks up about eight on the play. Fake the underneath handoff yep. on the jet sweep. Then get it to yep. Reed. Good Watch play, it here. Call. Let the pressure come in. Yep. Get it to to Reed, and New Bedford's there, but Reed's a big wide receiver, so he's able to burrow forward for a gain of about eight, sets up a third, and about six. So you're gonna keep the one-on-one -on -one coverage. Barrow's gonna watch, they're gonna give it. No, no. Medley kept the football, yeah. and he's brought down in the backfield. Big time. Might have been better off if he did give the ball that time, Miles, but instead it's 130 and counting in a big fourth down here for the boxes. Yeah, big big mistake right there for Medley to keep the football. You'll see it right there on the replay. He should have let him, yeah. should have gave it to him. Yeah, but once you see number 50 coming in your screen, Tyreek Williams, and no one touches him, that end crashing like that. You have to give the football. Absolutely. That's your key, the end. If the end stays to the outside, you keep the football. I'd keep an eye on Hall again at 13. He's a big matchup right there for Brockton. Let's see if Medley wants to go that way. Barrows Same is empty backfield. Watch out for yeah. the middle of the field. You saw Watterson lined up on the slot to the far side. I would look for those same vertical routes, guys. Yeah, I think Barrows has to kind of shadow that side over there, uh, closer to the Brockton bench, as you said, with Watterson uh, out there and Hall uh, out there. Now, that's, that's a good timeout right there by Brockton. Offensive coaches want to make sure that they know what they're doing. Everybody's on the same page because it's a big fourth down. If they don't get it down the field a little bit, uh, New Bedford still has some time. 57 seconds left is still some time left on the clock. So uh, Brockton wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page and what they were going to do. So timeout on the field. It's a fourth and nine for Brockton in New Bedford territory at the 39-yard line. Again, I think you mentioned who they need to be keying on here. I'd be looking for Hall, and I'd be looking for Watterson if I'm New Bedford. And if you're playing man coverage, you've got to make sure you have the right men on those two receivers. They'll stay. Now they'll move Watterson to the backfield. So it's Twins left and right. Watterson will go in motion. Going to look downfield. Fire. Have Got a him. man. Passes complete. Near sideline. Still on his feet. Inside the 15-yard line on the reception by number 11, Navon Reed. And Fernandes was the coverage there. Thought it was a good matchup, but they come away with it. They That's, get it, and it's a first down. That was a great play call because they really didn't think they were going to it was going right. to go to Navon picture, Reed. Just a straight out. Yeah. That's all it is. And that's the best throw of the afternoon. Yeah. And he was open. 
for Medley. Medley He's rolling to his left. He's Needs to get, get rid, rid of, of the football. He's going to keep it. Still on his feet. He's going to get thrown down. 29 seconds with the clock running here now. So Brockton, I believe, has one oh, timeout they, they remaining. I don't think they do. they got to hurry up. They're going to have to clock the football here or get a playoff quickly under 17 seconds now. And the play needs to go either in the end yep. zone or to the out-of-bounds area. In the middle. Look, middle of the field. A man's open, open. Pass is complete, and it's a touchdown. Yeah, Navon right, Reed. Yeah, and Reed right now at 6'4", 210, is just faster than number eight, Michael Fernandes, because he's getting right by him right now. That's and a 12-yard touchdown yep. pass to Navon Reed. And with um, LeGarrette out of there, Isaiah out of the football game, Navon becomes very key oh, to sure. the Brockton offense when it comes to passing. Let's watch it, Joe. He's going to come right in your picture. He just goes right across the face. Just a slant, of Chris. Yeah, Simple that's all it is. slant. He's going to get it through anyways, and it's going to count. Extra point is up. That should be offsides on New Bedford. And the kick is good. So the question here, does Brockton want to... Maybe accept the penalty, take half the distance to the goal and go for two, and they might. Yep, I think that's that's what they're going to Could do. Be. They're going to accept the penalty, take half the distance to the goal, and go for two points. Big two-point conversion for the boxes here. Remember, New Bedford has eight on the scoreboard, so you get two here, yep. goes 15-8. Now you're back to New Bedford needing a touchdown and an extra point just to tie the game. Half the distance to the goal, so the ball right now on the one and a half yard line. They're going to direct snap Easily. it, wow. take one out of the Patriots playbook. Yes. We saw it many, many times. We saw it in the Super Bowl with James White. We've seen it in the past uh, many, many times, and it worked to perfection there. New Bedford totally fooled by it as he snapped it directly to Watterson, and he just waltzed his way into the end zone. Yeah, excellent call by... Um Colombo and his staff over there, just like you said, food New Bedford's um, defense there. So with eight seconds remaining, the uh, Brockton Boxers now take the lead up by a touchdown, 15 to eight. So despite all of the penalties, the Boxers look like they'll head to the locker room with the lead here, leading at 15 eight. The interception by Brockton on the pass, the halfback pass from Shahid Barrows, very costly. Watterson to kick off here. If you're New Bedford, you want to catch this anywhere in the field to play and return it. And Barrows will He's take gonna. it right at the five yard line. He's at the 10, make it the 15, the 20. Barrows trying to get to the outside on his feet. Finally tripped up at about the 35 yard line. And there's nothing left on the clock here. And there's a flag down. So again, if it's a defensive penalty, there's one play remaining. If it's an offensive penalty, the half will yep. come to an end. And I think they're talking to Brockton, so. Yep. Waiting to see what the official has. And Brockton seems to be heading to the sidelines, saying this one's over, at least the first half of this one. And it's like holding score, against New Bedford. Yeah, it was a holding penalty against New Bedford, yep. so penalty of course, is decline. That'll do it here to wrap up the first half. And after a half of football, it's Brockton leading New Bedford 15 to eight. So guys, very interesting half of football, emotional half of football. Brockton really only stopped themselves, Miles, in that first half multiple times with penalties and gave New Bedford opportunities but they still can head to the locker room and do so with a lead. Exactly, just a great job of um, Brockton coaches calming the emotions down of their players, especially on defense, and, um, and give credit to the offensive uh, coordinator there and um, Coach Colombo for um, the right play calling to uh, get this Brockton team back on top. And Chris, a very evenly played first half, so New Bedford heads to the locker room, really can't be discouraged, you can see that this game can go either way. They just need to convert on their opportunities in the second half. Yeah, I, I think the thing that surprises me the most is the skill positions where I thought New Bedford would match up pretty good. Two vertical routes, one by Watterson, and then uh, obviously the, the last touchdown there by Reed. Uh, 
wide open. You know what I mean? Not, nothing that was kind of tight. So those two vertical rights, not the legs of Medley that's done it. It has been the passing game of Devontae Medley that's got them the two touchdowns. So the vertical route, it's been a good job uh, uh, by Brockton doing that. And uh, secondary has to do a little bit better job for New Bedford. Yeah, I think New Bedford has to change some of their assignments in the second half and man coverage. Yep. Barrows on Hall. And then their next best coverage man certainly goes on Watterson when he flanks out. Yeah, I think so, too. Or, or, or even vice versa, maybe something on Watterson and then let the other one on Hall. So it'll be interesting how if we see some changes by the defense of New Bedford. First half in the books. It's Brockton leading New Bedford 15-8. to eight. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have second half action for you on Facebook Live, the New Bedford Cable Network, and Brockton Cable Access. You're watching high school football here from Paul Walsh Field in New Bedford. We are back at Paul Walsh Field in New Bedford with a score at the half, Brockton 15, New Bedford 8. Joe Cabral here today with Chris Santos and Miles Jackson for the action between Brockton and New Bedford. What a wild half of football, the first half of football, accentuated by penalties, especially against Brockton. But the boxers were able to persevere, Chris, and a late touchdown in that first half with only eight seconds remaining gave them that 15-8 to eight halftime lead. Yeah, Medley comes out 11 for 32 in the yardage on running. Watterson 5 for 27, but he's got 2 for 65 yards with the TD uh, on the pass in the vertical route. Reed comes in 3 for 47 yards. He's got a touchdown as well on the slant pattern. Hall was 1 for 29. Laguerre, before he got tossed, had one catch for 24 yards. On the other side, Medeiros was 6 for 39 running the ball. Palmer was 8 for 50 running the ball. Barrows, 2 for 2 with the run and only one catch for 17 yards. Perry has two catches for 14 and a touchdown. And St. Louis has a catch for five yards. That's uh, pretty much stats for the first half for both teams. Let's take a quick look at the scoring from that first half. New Bedford got on the board first with 8.02 left in the second quarter. A 12-yard touchdown pass to Cameron Perry from Ethan Madeira's middle of the field. And after an unsuccessful point after touchdown attempt that ended up on a two-point conversion, it was New Bedford 8, Brockton nothing. The next play, right after the kickoff, it was the quarterback, Devontae Medley, connecting with Watterson for 60 yards and a score. And Brockton was right back in the game with a point after touchdown trailing at 8-7. Then late... In that first half, we alluded to it. A touchdown pass, 12 yards in length from the quarterback Medley to the wide receiver Navon Reed. And Brockton with the successful two-point conversion. A 15-8 lead at the half. So, Miles, it was a half of football accentuated early by penalties to Brockton. You alluded to that in kind of our pregame chat that Brockton had been troubled throughout the year with penalties. We saw it here today. Five personal foul penalties in that first half, but when they were able to avoid penalties, they moved the football. Yes, it was an emotional roller coaster ride for the boxes, especially in that second quarter, um, but they were somehow able to press, uh, persevere and um, get their thoughts together and, and make a rally late in the game, as you said, with that um, touchdown pass with less than uh, 20 seconds left in the half. New Bedford's number 28, Anderson Cruz, to kick off here. And Joe, if uh, you're New Bedford, uh, obviously you're down by a score. Brockton's getting the ball to start the second half. I truly believe that this first defensive possession for New Bedford has to have them stop Brockton somehow and get the ball back. Because if Brockton comes right down the field here and scores, it is going to be difficult for the Whalers. Here's Watterson picking it up at the 15. Watterson straight up the middle of the field. He will get brought down at the 40-yard line by Barrows. But a fine return, 25 yards in length. They'll mark it at the 40-yard line of the boxers. They'll have it first and 10. And you notice Watterson, very crafty runner. He looks ahead, see what he had. doesn't commit himself to run just anywhere. He looks, finds his holes, and um, then attacks him. 
One of the key stats, Joe, I thought from the first half was Barrows only two for two in running and one for 17 in catching, and that's it. Three times, really, with the ball, and he even has an interception because he tried to pass one of the plays and got picked off. Watterson is the running back, offset to the right of the quarterback, Medley, who looks straight back, has a man in the slot, <laughs> passes complete. Just a little hitch route, that time finding number 12, Devin Forts. Gain of about six. And Brockton right back to the line of scrimmage with a hurry-up offense here. He'll stay with the same formation, look to the sideline to get the play call. And, and Brockton's been playing this hurry-up offense all year. Saw it in spurts in the first half, keeping the football here and the quarterback medley straight ahead. He'll be about a yard shy of the first down as he got it to the 49. Miles, you've had to be impressed at least with his vision downfield to find Watterson. Obviously, find Reed in that first half. He's looked pretty good throwing the ball and not, you know, uh, rolling out, staying back there and, and being a pocket passer. Right back to the line of scrimmage. New Bedford with a three man front. And that's the quarterback. Medley bounces it to the outside, has enough for a first down before he's thrown back. And I tell you, the offensive line has done a good job to give Medley enough time back there to throw the football when needed. And that's why probably he's had the opportunity to stay as a pocket passer and not have to roll right or left if his offensive line is giving him some time. So something that New Bedford has to do a better job getting to the quarterback. So again, a three-man front here. Man in motion, it's Watterson. Quarterback Medley. Going to scramble here. Could be a hold. But you see how that broke down, Joe? Yeah. Because they put some pressure on him, and then they covered what they needed to. He couldn't find anybody on the first one, and it looked like he was looking for Hall on that one on this left-hand side going deep, and it wasn't there. Yeah, give the defensive backs for Ron New Bedford um, credit for coverage. Because like you said, Medley couldn't find anybody open, <clears throat> which caused the hold. <laughs> Holding against Brockton. They'll mark the football back here and keep it at second down. All the way back now to the 37-yard line. He's elusive, I'll tell you. Medley and Reed, you know, uh, two juniors, so good combination for next year as well for Colombo. Um, but both guys doing a good job here this afternoon, and I, I like what Medley has done when he has had time. First and 26, jet sweep action here. Quarterback Medley's gonna roll to his right. Medley gonna take a hard hit and get sent down right at the 40 yard line. So relatively short game, picked up about four on the play. Yeah, I particularly didn't like that play call right there. Well, first and 26, sometimes you look at screens, you look at draws, maybe even a jet sweep, but instead it was just a fake of that. And, and keeping and roll to the right, you know, really not much of a play there on first down, maybe just to try to see what the defense was doing. New Bedford keeping Barros as the safety, middle of the field, quarterback. Medley breaks the pocket, right sideline. He's gonna be close to a first down before he finally steps out of bounds. That's the danger when you only yep. rush three men and then everyone drops into coverage. Well, as you said, breaks the pocket and that was key for Medley realizing, hey, I don't have the time to throw on this one. Let me find a lane and let me get going, and he takes off. Third and about three. Watterson is offset to the left of the quarterback, Medley. Tight formation. They'll give it to Watterson. He's not going to get it. Now Gets that, back to the line of scrimmage. And that play really hasn't been there uh, too, mu up too much for today for Brockton. Uh, surprised. Uh, if anything that he gave that, could have maybe kept it and then done his own thing, but that's been kind of stuffed from New Bedford this afternoon. Yeah, I tell you, if he would have uh, faked that and went to his left, there was a lot of um, open real estate over there that uh, Medley possibly could have had and got that first down. So Brockton will go for it, fourth and three, football right at the 40-yard line. Watterson to the right of the quarterback, Medley. Medley's gonna look to his right, pass is complete. <laughs> Ball intended for number 11, Reed. He came up with it Nothing despite special. tight coverage. Just a stick route. I run to the chain, maybe a yard after, spin around, and get the ball when I turn. So the coverage was not tight enough, I guess, Joe. 
He's an outstanding receiver. Navon Reed, Miles. Yeah, it looks like the defensive back went for the interception. So Barrows is out of the safety position, and instead he's on one on yeah, you one have to, you have to with make Reed, that obviously. You have to make that move and let double coverage on Watterson. Yeah. Here's Watterson, jet sweep, but they'll fake the football to him. Medley keeps it to the outside, picks up about three. Brockton's gone to Reed way too many times for New Bedford to continue to mess around exactly. with others covering him. So you have to put Barrows your big body against yeah, I'm the big curious, body of well, Reed. I'm curious to see when they put Watterson out in the there slot. in the slot, who now exactly. comes on top of him. So that will be an interesting, intriguing matchup. You can see Fernandes right here, closest to us. He's on Hall. Watterson is offset to the right of the quarterback. Time way. here, pass, knocked to the turf. Ball intended that time for Devin Forts. And New Bedford's number one, O'Shawn Brooks, was there on the coverage. And so was Caleb Jodden, the outside linebacker, doing a good job of reading the eyes that time of Medley. Yeah, nice nice play by Brooks. Get his hand in there and break up that pass. 7.33 remaining here in the third quarter. Brockton moving the football. Four down territory with it at the New Bedford 32-yard line. Watterson will be offset to the right and twins left and right for Brockton and the spread offense. Straight back Medley's going to look, fire here, near sideline, pass is incomplete. <laughs> and you can see as soon as New Bedford put Barros on Reed, Brockton has looked elsewhere, and on neither of those attempts was there anyone really in danger of making yeah, a reception. And, and Watterson usually has come on out, and they've had maybe four men to a side. They haven't done that yet. Uh, I'm waiting to see if they go vertical with him because I, I think he's just a mismatch. He is. Uh, the two mismatches that they have are Reed and Watterson, yeah. and Barrows can only cover one of them. <laughs> and that was not a good pass by Medley. Now, here he comes now, so let's see who's on him now, Joe. Looks like Brooks. Empty no, backfield. No safety. Remember, he can run the football yeah. medley as well. Here comes some pressure. Has a man. Pass is complete, but short. I think it's going to be short of the first Way down. Way short. Yeah. Ball was caught by Seula Hall, but he's brought down at the 26, so it's two yards shy of the first down. Yeah, so that's a good defensive stand by New Bedford as obviously second half adjustment smiles. Yeah. Something that both the offense and defense has to do, and I thought New Bedford did a good job of maybe matching up a little bit better than what they did in the first half. Yeah, the only good thing about that offensive um, drive right there, it, took, it did take some time oh, off yeah. the clock, kept uh, New Bedford's offense off the field for a little bit. Medeiros the quarterback now with Palmer offset to his right. It's been a while since New Bedford did have the football, with Brockton having it at the end there of the first half. Inside give to Palmer, picks up maybe a couple, not much more. They're going to mark it at the 28-yard line, so gain of two. Eight for 50 we have unofficial for Palmer in that first half. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to see maybe a heavy dose of Palmer here in the second half. But eight for 50, that's not too bad. And you know him, he, he's always elusive to break it for one. He's your, along with Barros, your playmaker. Mm -hmm. Spread the backfield. Look here, Madero's going to go long and deep. Have Barros in the secondary, and he drops the football. Shahid Barros was beyond the secondary. He would have been gone, and he dropped the ball that was laid right in his hands. Well, there's not much you can say about that because he has not done that all season, that's for sure. And he had at least four or five yards uh, head start on that one, and that one should have been six easily you try to go to your big players you got to come up and produce and unfortunately for him just a little bit of the drops yeah breakdown and coverage yep. by brockton there Oof. And Oof. good protection there Medeiros lofted it put plenty of air under oh, the football yeah. no complaints. that was a perfect throw yep and now it's third and eight as a result no safety help for brockton here Medeiros back going to look here near sideline Trying to find Barrows, pass went out of bounds. <clears throat> so New Bedford squandered an opportunity there. A ball that Barrows should have come down with. Yep. And as a result, the Whalers will have to punt the football on fourth down. Yeah, Brockton dodged a, bu a bullet on that defensive stand there. 
So a touchdown probably uh, would have out of a chance to tie this game up. Instead, now New Bedford will be forced to punt, and I'm sure good field position once again for Brockton. Off the side of the foot for Ooh. Barrows. New I Bedford don't think so. Touched the football, did not hit anyone. Yeah, it was close to number five. Or naughty, but it did not touch him. He ducked out of the way, and again, good field position for the boxes. And they've had good field position for most of the day here. The, yeah. uh, the one exception was on the interception. Now they one just thing moved the football right down the field, last possession, Miles. Yeah, excuse me, Joe. One thing about Brock and all, yeah, they've had a problem on, on the punts. They, they sometimes don't know where the football is, and they've it's happened where the ball has hit them, not knowing where the ball is, and the other team has recovered. So first and 10 for the boxers with a football at the 41-yard line. Quarterback draw here by Medley. Gets it up to about the 45-yard line, so a gain of about four. Well, Miles alluded to a good time-consuming first opening drive here in the third quarter. I think Brockton wants to do the same thing, Miles. Let yeah. that clock run out at the end of this quarter and still have the ball. And Brockton has moved the football much better when they've spread the field. Oh, that's a face mask. Abelarinwa in the backfield. And snowed under is Watterson. Yep. And Watterson saying, hey, nice good job, big fella. Yeah, yeah, good play. And he gave him like a stiff arm, but that was kind of right in right the face, in the face mask. mask. Yeah, I'm yeah. surprised that was not maybe called. But Abel hung in there and gets a loss, and it's third down as Brockton goes backwards on that play. Fine play there by David Abel Arinwa. I think if Watterson would have grabbed the face mask. That's exactly right. You know, he did have his hands in his face. That's a stiff arm. You can yeah. have a hand on the face mask pushing it, but you can't grab, grab it. it. Exactly. And that's Watterson offset to the left. Now you're going motion to the right. The quarterback mentally back. Look, oh. he's hit. Ball comes loose. The question here is, is that a pass? They're going to say it is, yep. and it's incomplete. <laughs> wow. Big number 50 hammered him. Well, there's two things maybe, Miles, that I would do if I was Brockton. You've had success as you watch that sack there. You've had success through the air. And at the same time, the only success on the run ground has been pretty much what Medley has made the decision of doing. One, you keep it in his hands either way. I think they should continue to throw the ball. I think they've done a good job with that. But right now... Um, getting some pressure on him is the key for New Bedford if they have any chance at all. Whalers will get the football right back. End over end kick, tumbling down to Barrows. He'll take it at the 28. Gets Rasheed around. Barrows trying to get to the sideline. Brockton gang tackling here, and yep. they'll throw him out of bounds. I think what we saw from Barrows last week where he danced along the sideline and defeated a bunch of mm -hmm. Dartmouth tacklers, you're not going to see that today here against Brockton. Well, they're trying to get him the ball any way they can, Joe. I, I understand it. They have to find a way to get the running game going uh, again, and then it opens up that passing game. On the opposite, I think Brockton has to go with the passing game for us, which then maybe opens up the running game. That's what it's looked like for the tail of two teams. New Bedford has to get the ball into the hands of either Palmer or Barros in whatever fashion required. Medeiros, the quarterback, in the shotgun. Spread a look here, straight back. Going to set up a screen, get it to Palmer. Middle of the field, he'll pick up about five. Good play call, but... Mm -hmm. Remember, no Vargas today either, Joe. Not in the ball game. Remember, he got hurt last week. Yep. Shoulder that was, injury. That was a nice job by Brockton's defense to recoup on the play because it developed nicely, and they was able to cut it short at five yards. Palmer will stay offset to the left of the quarterback, Medeiros. Again, spread look here for the Whalers. Medeiros will run the football straight up the middle and find nothing. Swarmed on the layer that time, led by number 73, Jose Dapina, who just came in and swarmed underneath a bigger man at 6'2", 285, wow. as he collapsed on Medeiros there at 5'7", 156. Plenty of size there. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say so. That's a mismatch. So third and about five for the Whalers with the football at their own 35-yard line. One-on-one -on -one coverage out here. Number 25, a Johnny Horn versus Barrows. 
Medeiros back, middle of the field, has a man, pass is complete, St. Louis. Will be a first down. He's gonna get it out to the 48 yard line. Good decision there, very short route. Again, just a hitch to St. Louis. Yeah, just short enough to get a first down. Three thirty-five left, third quarter action. New Bedford trailing at fifteen to eight. Madero's the quarterback with Abelarinwa now and Palmer in the backfield. So it's a pistol look, but strong to the right with Abelarinwa as the fullback. Madero's a roll to his Got right, him. has Abelarinwa. They ran this play earlier, has the football this time, and Abelarinwa somersaults inside the 43, uh, 45 to the 43 yard line. That was the opening play of the game yeah, for exactly. New Bedford there, and that was a better job by Madero's of really putting something on that one and getting in there. Because watch, he's going to get hurried right here, and he takes a hit for it after he throws it. Yeah, that was a tough pass with pressure on him. He did a nice job getting it over there to him, like you said, uh, Chris. Nabral Arena was a big body, 6'2", 220, so you get him the football in the flat. He has a chance to make something happen. Whaler's back to a spread look. Slots uncovered, now Perry in motion. Going to give it to Palmer, he's going to take it off left tackle, got cut down. Oh, fine tackle there from number 34, Markendi Suffrant, who already has an interception here today. He's a bit undersized, Miles, but fine tackler. Yeah, when, you, when you're when you undersized like that, you go down low. You don't try to tackle him above the waist. Go below the waist, preferably down by the ankles. So gain of about three on the play. Second and seven for New Bedford. Whalers like to stay with a spread look and the running back Palmer to the left of the quarterback Medeiros. They'll send Perry in motion. Blitz coming up the middle. Medeiros will look, throw here near side, but throws the ball out of bounds, way out of bounds. Yeah, and knock the Brittles point and say, hey man, let's just get it down the sideline. Keep side it in the field. Keep in the field, I got a one-on-one -on -one matchup that I want exactly. with Barrows and let him use his height advantage and go get the ball. And that's why they sent Perry in motion so that becomes one-on-one -on, -one on that side with no other help. Yep. So two down territory probably for New Bedford at the 40-yard line, third and seven right now. You can see it's, it's straight up man coverage with a big size advantage for Barrows. He was going against number 20 seed, no, 26, Noah Alowu. Good Pistol time to run here. if you wanted it. Medeiros run to the near ah. side. Flag goes down for New Bedford. Medeiros, I think, would have the first down, but there's a flag in the backfield. That usually means holding. Yeah. It's going to be a chop block, though, this time. Officials signaling a chop block. Yeah. Chop block call there. And so they're going to mark it back against New Bedford. One of the few mistakes the New Bedford offense has made today. And it comes at a big time, yeah. too, with third and seven at the 40-yard line. Now the ball will go back into there on their side of the field. And remember, very difficult. Now you really <laughs> will not go for it on fourth down. It's a 15-yard penalty all the way back wow. to the 41-yard line. So New Bedford has to go from their 41 now a total of 28 yards all the way down to the 33 yard line of Brockton. You would expect some soft coverage here from the boxers, keep everything in front. Yep. But still one on one coverage on the outside with Barrows. And it's press coverage. Yep, but safety moving over there. Looking for him too. Look Wheel long route. And deep. Fires, but nobody's there. Ball was intended for St. Louis. You mentioned a wheel route, so the slot man going to the outside and wheeling down the sideline, but the ball was nowhere near no. St. Louis. Yeah, Devin Fortes was right on him. Mm -hmm. Barrows came underneath, and St. Louis went around the outside. So it'll be punt time for New Bedford as Barrows moves back. 
So each team with two possessions now here in the third quarter. Nothing happening on the scoreboard. New Bedford forced to punt. Of course, that chop block penalty, very costly for the Whalers. Eliminated the possibility of going for it on fourth down. And here's Barros with a wobbly end over end kick. It's going to roll down inside the 35 to about the 33. And Barros holding his right ankle a yeah, little bit. Yeah, he is a little bit. He seems a little ginger with that. Maybe the way he kicked the football there was not obviously a good punt. Got a nice roll. He did but get the forward roll, yeah. And Brockton's offense starts out with decent field position. 133 to go here in the third quarter. I know you want to waste the clock, Miles, but at the same time, you know, the, the vertical routes and the, the passing has been Brockton's success here this afternoon. So it'll be interesting to see how Colombo plays this. And Barros will stay on Reed, yep. far side of the field. The safety for New Bedford now is St. Louis. Keeping the football, look to the right side. Had a man wide, wide open. open. Yeah. Hall was wide open, but the pass from the quarterback, Devontae Medley, was just floated over his outstretched hands. Yeah, it didn't seem like he really had a good grasp on no. the ball. It just no. looked like it took off from him. Kind of shot-putted it over mm -hmm. there. Yeah. It was a good play call. They ran Reed on a slant route, so it opened up that far sideline. Second and 10 for Brockton. Bubble screen. They're going to get the ball here to Watterson to the outside. He has some room. Dances his way. Has a first down, but the ball's on the turf, and New Bedford does not have it. Does not have it. Nope. It was number 26. Noah. Alowu. Alowu recovering the fumble, and it was a fumble. Yeah, that's something Watterson is pretty good on protecting that football, but it was a good hit. And uh, he coughed it up, and fortunately. Um, Had a lot of room, Joe, yeah. on that bubble screen. And watch Alowu. Yep. He, he doesn't even fall on it. just picks it up. Yep. And he just yeah. kind of like, ah, I got a quick. Big third down. Looking to the right. Get it to Watterson. Same play, other side. Watterson's going to have enough He's for a first down. And All that's they did was reverse the play. Yeah. Give him the far side of the field, the turf on the wide side. But when he threw that ball, he caught it three yards behind the line of scrimmage instead of leaning forward, going to the line of scrimmage. Medley, the quarterback, takes a snap straight back. Going to look long and deep this time for Reed. Ooh. But Barros was there, and the pass tight to the sideline, incomplete. Had a step on him. Yeah, just a, maybe a slightly bit overthrown. Just out of the outreach yep. of uh, Navon. Basically, after that, it's just seeing if his feet would have been in bounds or not. But you have to make a much tighter throw yeah. with Barros there. Reed was behind him. You've got to give him credit, yep. but the ball was overthrown. Split backs now in the shotgun. They're going to give the football this time to number 26, Alowu. He'll take it to the far sideline and pick up, looks like maybe about four. No, they're going to say it's closer to the 50. So it's about a six-yard gain. Barrows has to be careful. It's getting very emotional over there. Brockton's trying to get under, under his skin, forcing him to get a penalty called on him. He's got to control his emotions. Big time right now here at the end of this third quarter. Third and five. Empty backfield here for Brockton. Audible. Watterson's in the slot there, same side yep. of the field. Audible. As Reed, Watterson in motion, got jet it. sweep here. Has the football running sideways, yeah, has enough for there. a first down. Flag in the yeah, backfield, Watterson still there. on his feet. Watterson at the 15, the 10, yep. the 5. He's going to go to the end zone for a touchdown. He is, but that's going to be called yeah. back. But there's a flag. Yep. And that's happened a number of times this year. Mm -hmm. Watterson makes a big play, and unfortunately somebody makes an error. And the, and the um, touchdowns called back. I've seen two of them called back on Watterson. Well, Tyreek does a good job from his defensive line of flushing that to come back inside, Joe. My question is, when he comes back inside, where's the other red jerseys the help? to help him out? Watch 50 in your screen. Go up high. See, he's going to go up high. That's fine. 
Now when he cuts back, where's the other red jerseys? And there's one right there that doesn't make the play, but there's got to be more there, even though there was a hold call. And you wonder where the hold was, because it was well behind the play. Yeah, and didn't yeah. see it. It's always amazing when you see the holding calls behind the play. It's like, why did you hold? He's did you not see even number 78 there, there. Mm -hmm. Joe? Yep. Yeah, 78. But yeah. really not involved not with involved. the play. Exactly. Okay. Empty the backfield here now for Brockton with quads to the right. It's a big play right here. Oh, it's a screen. screen. Oh, and he's going to roll over Medley. Tries to get rid of the football. They're going to uh, say it's a fumble. It's a fumble? No. No, the official no, says official no. The official saying he threw it. But that should be intentional grounding. Yeah, it's got to be something here. Yeah, it should be a flag. They're going to say he's down. They're going to say he's in the grasp. Okay. That's what the referee's okay. calling, saying no, he was right. down in the grasp. Yep. Not a fumble in the grasp. So Brockton will have to punt the football away. Watch right here. They're gonna that's the call. They're gonna rule in the grasp as he throws the football I guess away. Might have blown the whistle then. Uh, again, well, there's no time on the clock right now. And with no time on the clock, you should be changing ends of the field. Yeah. And that's going to be good for New Bedford because you're punting into the wind now, Miles, mm -hmm. compared to punting with it. Because that's the way the direction is going right now. The wind is moving from right side to left side. I tell you, that offensive possession was looking pretty good until a few mishaps by the boxes, and now they're punting the football with the last quarter coming up. Well, you couldn't have been more on point in our pregame, Miles, than when you were talking about penalties. Yeah. Really, it's been penalties that have stopped Brockton here multiple times, yes. caused all of their problems. New Bedford has had a play um, that really they squandered when Barrows dropped a touchdown pass. But other than that, <laughs> Brockton has really handled New Bedford fairly well from the defensive side of the ball, but has made penalties and made mistakes and there, that was a touchdown yeah, by yeah, Watterson exactly. with a holding call behind the play. Exactly. And you just can't come in here on New Bedford's turf. They're undefeated and, and make mistakes like that. You gotta take advantage. So Brockton will be forced to kick the football away here. Number 87, Kevin McCarthy to do so. You take the snap, New Bedford came Get after away. the punt. It's a very short kick, but it'll get a fairly good roll. New Bedford did not have Barrows back that time as they went to block the kick. Yeah, they went in Barrows to go block it. Exactly. And carry on back. And remember last week we were amazed by how many times oh. the Whalers could have blocked a kick against Dartmouth yeah. and just decided to only rush one man and have Barrows back. Dartmouth I, really struggled with their snap last week. Yeah, I think um, the Brockton Pano was a little intimidated, saw the pressure coming from Barrows and company, and just didn't get a good kick. And Whalers have good field position here. So Horn, one-on-one -on -one with Barrows right now. Football's at the 41. Yep. Madero's the quarterback. He's going to run the option here. Pitch it to Palmer. He's going to try to get to the outside. Uh, it's going to be tackle. a block in the back. And then it's going to be a block in the back call Ron against Perry, yep. New Bedford. But the point is, Joe, Perry cannot let him get by him and then block him in the back. You have to do your job right off the line of scrimmage. And he doesn't do the job. Watch, he's going to come into your pitcher right here. He's got to make that block. And he let him go right by him, and then he pushes from behind. And it really did nothing. No. Nope. Yeah, the push exactly. was so light. Yep. It really does nothing other than create a penalty. I yep. mean, there are times when, you know, you've seen quarterbacks going to be pressured and someone holes. It's like, well, he would have been hit, maybe <laughs> strip sack. And you can understand a penalty. But that penalty did absolutely nothing except push New Bedford back. The football's all the way inside the 30 now at the 29-yard line. New Bedford has to get across midfield for a first down. Medeiros hits Barros across the formation, but it'll be a relatively short gain. He was Barros already down. was brought down at the 36, and that was a hard hit yep. as he was hit high and yeah. low. Yep. Well, he got up slow, so he's favoring something. Again, he was ridden up high and then had his legs cut out from under him. Yeah, yeah he's, he's going down for that ankle, that left ankle. Watch it here. High and then boom, there's another player coming in from Brockton. 
Seems to be okay. Aki Winodi. Wales will stay with the spread look. Palmer offset to the left. Medeiros takes the snap. He's going to look. He's going to look. He's going to look. He's going to run. And he's going to get sacked. And he's going to lose the ball. They're going to say he still has it as he's brought down at the 31. That's just a good secondary coverage, yeah, Miles. Exactly. Sack is what they call it. Because the line gave him time, but finally, yep. finally the pocket collapsed on him, and Brockton was able to take advantage and get the sack. But good coverage by the Brockton defensive backs and linebackers. Third and very long. Football on the 32. Again, you have to get to the 50, so a total of 18 yards. Press coverage, though. Two men, two but safety back. Yep. The twin safeties yep. this time. Yep. Medeiros will look. A look will get pressured, and he'll be sacked again. That time it was number 77, Isaiah Armour. Yeah, he's had a good game uh, on the offensive side as well as the defensive side. He's been wreaking some havoc, and that time he did get by Bill Souza and get to the quarterback. Yeah, you're exactly right. Wreaking havoc back there. Again, the pocket collapses. And penalties have hurt New Bedford here in the second half. Stopped an earlier drive and really prevented this one from ever getting off the ground. Barrows to punt. Single return man is Alowu. Barrows end over end kick. Will tumble down at the 41 yard line and be down there where Brockton will take over with 9.01 left. Now Brockton needs a key drive here to take some time off this clock, put the pressure back on New Bedford, even if they don't score. It'd be nice if they would, but if they can put take about six minutes, at least six minutes off this clock on a, um, some type of drive and put the pressure back on New Bedford's offense. Joe, how big does the open pass to Barrows and he drops the ball Certainly. loom now? Yeah, it ended that drive. Oh. They did nothing after that. Yeah. Again, it was six points. And now Brockton here still leading in a one-score game. They'll give it to Watterson. Patience here from Watterson. Avoids a couple of tackles and gets it out to about the 45. So a gain of about four for Watterson. Yeah, Looked now, like Le'Veon Bell that yeah, time. Yeah, well, this is different. Now, yeah. now, this is different, though. And, and Miles will allude to here with the clock running in fourth quarter mode. This is run time now. This, yes, is, yes. this is get Watterson involved. Let's see how much we can produce. If he's going to give me five yards a chunk, I'll, I'll finally get my first down, I'm sure, sooner or later. So uh, I think they're going to do a heavy dose of number two. Yep, just like you said, Joe, he's a, excuse me, Chris, he's a very patient runner, yep. Watterson. Medley, Watterson in motion will look. They'll throw the football instead to number 13, Hall, down that far sideline. Little bubble screen for Hall. He has more than enough for the first down. Yeah, that was a good block on the outside as well from the other receiver that lets him come back inside and gets a big chunk of yards. So a very, very well planned play by Brockton. Yes. Well designed. Excellent call. Yep. Excellent call. Yeah, and very safe. Yep. Hall steps downfield one yard, then circles back, bubble screen. A wide receiver screen, I should say, not a bubble screen. Bubbles out of the slot. Watterson in motion. They're going to look, swing it to uh -oh. Watterson. Oh, oh, he was hit in the backfield. Got away from Barros, however, and he's on his feet, middle of the field. He's inside the 15-yard line and finally brought down at the 12. Well, wow, something that probably looked like it could have been a possible, maybe fumble if he gets hit just right, exactly. turns into a huge play because that looked like something that was going to happen. Yeah, he just, just missed a tackle. Yeah. So as the ball comes out on the back right there, Barrows is going to pop him right here and go for the ball. He just flat out misses him. Had him and just let him go. So. so New Bedford up against it here now. Football's marked at the 13-yard line. Uh-oh. Oh, oh they lost the ball. It's on the turf. Wow. And the quarterback medley falls on it. Ooh. Wow, he's right. Tough snap. And the ball just kind of hung there as medley was on the ground. And though far it gets it. And they will retain possession. Boy, Miles, I mean, obviously you've been there all season long, but Brockton stops themselves an awful lot. An awful lot this year. They've, they've just shot themselves in the foot so many times over the course of the season. You just kind of hold your breath on, on, on every offensive play. 
7.04 left. Brockton leading it 15 to 8, but that's a big loss there of six yards on the play. Now that really almost forces Brockton to throw the football here. They have trips to the left. Straight back. They're going to go with a wide receiver again. screen again. Get it to Hall, <laughs> but not this time. They were ready. <laughs> Got by one, but then kept coming back this way, and Brooks comes in and steps up and makes the play. Yeah, that time New Bedford's defense was ready for that for that play that was ran a couple of times, excuse me, a couple of downs earlier and um, made some big yardage. Nice tackle there by Brooks. So that sets up a third and 16. Brockton can get a first down just inside the five yard line. Yeah, it's a big third down situation for the Brockton offense, but even bigger um, third down situation for New Bedford's defense. Six, 10 and counting. Obviously, if you're New Bedford, you need to keep oh. this a one score game. Very safe, short passes right now is all Brockton's been doing. Time is going down. This could be a delay of a game right here. And it will be. Did Brockton get a timeout? Looks like they're saying on the sideline they did before the flag came out. That was close. You see the back judge lifts his hand up mm -hmm. when there's only 10 seconds left on the play clock. Lifted his right hand and Coach Colombo saw that and was able to get a timeout before it was too late. Flag had come out, he was ready to throw it, Chris. He was, in fact, he actually did throw it, but the side judge uh, beat him to the punch and said, nope, I, they must have called timeout prior. Yep, Colombo was right in his ear. Yep. Granted the timeout. So 5.58 left, 15 to eight. New Bedford's undefeated season at risk here. Whalers need a stop. Doesn't look like Brockton has a field goal kicker who could make a kick from some distance here. So you would imagine it's four down territory. Yeah, Brockton doesn't have the uh, field goal kicker this year that could actually kick a 30 yard, 25 yard field goal. Nigel Palmer in the game as a defensive back, Joe. Wow, so they're putting Palmer here near mm -hmm. side of the field on number 12, Hall, who's been a problem lately. Mm -hmm. Looking this way. Back, Looking Medley's this gonna way. look, has a man pass oh, incomplete. Dropped it. Went in and out of the hands of number 17, Winodi. He would have been it. short, yep. he would have been down at the 10 yard line and it would have been like maybe fourth and six. So instead, they're going to obviously go for it here. Fourth and 17 with 5.52 remaining. Big down right now for New Bedford defense. So a good decision here by New Bedford to use their talent, put Palmer on the field to cover Hall, who's been making some of the receptions as of late. Let's see who Palmer covers this time. Now they got to get to Medley somehow. This, off, this defensive line has to put a little pressure on him. Force is being guarded by Palmer. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Straight back Medley to the outside. Has a man. Oh, oh in and out of the hands of oh. Hall. Drop the ball. Drop the ball. Back shoulder oh. throw, and Hall was there. Yeah, and he had Fernandes beat Fernandes on the coverage. never turned. Nope. And again, a back shoulder throw. Yep. Now I see Fernandes top screen. He makes the turn, but he's got to turn back and look at the ball. He never looks back at the ball. And a lot of space there. Yep. Hall could not come up with it. So 546, and New Bedford will have the ball at their own 21. If you're gonna make a drive, remember, all you need is one. Don't have to go for two unless you wanna go for the win. You cannot criticize the throw. No. No. Devontae Medley nope. that time. Perfect back shoulder execution. Medeiros, the quarterback, will fake it, go with a wide receiver screen, and ball is incomplete. Drop the ball again, so if you Drops today from Barrows, unlike him, he's been consistent all year long. Trying to get the ball to Barrows on a wide, on a wide receiver screen, he dropped it. Interesting situation here now, 541 left. If you're in New Bedford and you don't get a first down here, do you even think about it in your own territory? It's gonna depend on how much time's on the clock. Yep. I would think here if you have two more incompletions that you probably would punt it away. Trips to the right, one-on-one -on -one coverage with Barrows here on the left. 
Gives to Palmer. They give it to Palmer inside. They had Barros in, in a matchup with a Johnny Horn. Yep. No safety help. Nope. You would think just put the ball up in the air yeah. downfield. 5'10", 160. Obviously, we talked about Barrows at 6'1", 175. You, you know, there was a hole there, but it was nicely plugged up by uh, Brockton's defense there. Quickly. Yes, quickly. So a gain of about three. Medeiros will have to hurry here to get this one off. Whalers will have Palmer mm -hmm. offset to the Hands right up. of the quarterback, Medeiros, and trips to the right. Medeiros takes a snap, blitz. They get the football to Abilarine. Why he's going to have enough for first down, it he, looks he's like. He's going to have it. Yep. Now they got to keep this drive going, and they got to do it quick, Joe. They got to get a little bit faster right now. What a great decision there to get the ball out quickly. Yeah, that was a clutch play right there by New Bedford's offense to get that first down. They got the ball out quickly that time, Chris. Abilarinwa, again, just a little hitch route. Yep. It's a New Bedford first down. Perfect play call with Brockton blitzing. Yep. See if they're consumed now with the barrels again, one on one. Safety looking this way. Medeiros keeps the football. Doesn't have anything. Hesitating quite a bit. Pushes oh. forward, yep. however, and gets get it across the 35 to about the 37. Should get about four yards out of it. Looked like, didn't look like much. Looks like he kind of tap dances his yeah. way for a few yards. And we got a timeout by officials. Looks like an official timeout. Gain of about four on the play. Wondering why there's a timeout on the field. Unless the clock did not move on time. I'm not know. sure. Now they're going to look at it. Discussion here. Yeah, I'm sure Brockton coaches are going to want to know why yeah, the I, clock stopped. Yeah, they're looking at the times right now. I think they're going to make a determination on that. Let's see. It looks like they're going to signal something up here to move the clock to some yep. different, different time. time. Wouldn't be too much time, I would imagine, that would advance. But Let's see what they say. If that's the case, they're going to move Four, it. Four, one, two. They four, want 4-12 one, on the clock. 4-1-2, so they're going to put 4-12 on the clock, yeah. move it down 18 seconds. Okay. There we go. Officials will have to wind the clock yeah. here now. Second and five, still one-on-one -on -one with Barrows out here. There they wind the clock, mm -hmm. so it's running. Medeiros looks, 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 fires, has a man, Abilarinwa, out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. That was a good throw by Medeiros. They were looking on the combination, the slant from Barros and then Abilarinwa into the flat. I'll give him credit, the quarterback. He's throwing it where he has to throw it. It's a good throw. Little out route here from Abel Arena. Yeah, he looked, at the, with yeah an out. he looked at the screen first, and then he went away from it. Palmer's offset in motion. To the left of the quarterback, Abel Arena in motion. They're going to give it to Palmer straight up the gut. Better hold Palmer on to that ball. Fighting forward, and you had it called perfectly <laughs> there, Chris. You could see. One of the Brockton they were trying defenders. To rip that out. I think it was number five, <laughs> Winodi, trying to get in there and just rip the football out of the hands of Palmer. Instead, he picks up about six. I thought I saw Miles do an extra little yeah. jump there. He, yeah. he saw that the I hands were in too. there. <laughs> trying to rip it right yeah. out of his hands, but good job holding on to that football. Whalers will stay with a spread look. And Palmer's offset to the right. Taking the snap and the shotgun. It's Madero's going to pitch good it to job. Palmer. Can he get to the outside? He's in trouble here now. He's going to reverse oh boy. the field. And this is where it gets to be a big problem. And that's, again, where you're trying to do too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And instead of just taking a one-yard loss, you go back and you lose about 10. Yeah. Not getting a good job, though, uh, by the wide receivers in the blocking there. Just not working as Cameron Perry, once again, having difficulty uh, helping on that outside once he gets the pitch. He loses his man, he gets upfield, and then a host of white jerseys help out there. And it is a huge loss with 3-11 remaining 
as the whale is going backwards, not forwards. Now, if New Bedford does not come up with probably at least half of this, they'll most likely have to punt. And they'll have to stop Brockton three and out. Well, that will be the key, get the Joe. football back. That will be the key is how much can they get on this third down possession. And hopefully Brockton's defense can hold so they so they wouldn't might have to punt. But it just depends on uh, what New Bedford can do on offense to get that ball up a little bit closer to that first down marker. You need it about half, get it about halfway. Set yourself up for maybe a third and seven, third and eight across yep. the 45. Now, something positive in anything would help them right now. Because, again, with just an incompletion here or very, very short gain, you're probably going to punt it away. Madero's the quarterback, takes the snap. Three-man rush from Brockton. Madero's with time. He's, He's going to look, time. has a man got open. Barrows. Barrows, and he has the first down. He sure does. At the 45-yard line. Brockton decided to go with a three-man rush. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. And played coverage, but it allowed Barrows time to do a deep in route. So the deep in cut, famous for the Patriots run this all the mm -hmm. time when they have long down and distance with Edelman. You see Barrows deep middle of the field. He was open and a perfectly thrown ball by Madero. Yeah, very impressed by Madero how he stepped up in the pocket that time, Joe. And he threw didn't up panic. His front foot. No, he didn't, and he let it rip. And give the offensive line credit for giving him time back there. He waited for the for the receiver to come open. Palmer offset to the left. They're going to give it to Palmer. And again, trying to bounce it outside, Nigel Palmer. <clears throat> Not working right now for Palmer. And you got to know who you're going against. This mm -hmm. team is solid defensively, and they're good tacklers. you got to just take whatever's there. If you think you're going to run around, bounce it around, and 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 do something dramatic, it's not going to happen here against this team. you got to execute a play after uh, one play after another and move the ball down the field. Timeout on the field, it looks like here by New Bedford. Trying to surprise them there, maybe with, you know, Palmer underneath, that they've been successful throwing the ball on this series. But Brockton standing their ground. But, Joe, and I think you said it when they only rushed three. It was kind of surprising to see because most of the time they've been successful, at least four, maybe a fifth guy in there, and they've, they've covered well in the skill positions. And they matched up pretty good. Instead, they just dropped back and said, see what happens. But it, it lets Barrows develop into some kind of a play, and he did it to get the first down. You're exactly right, Chris, because like you said earlier, on this drive, Brockton <laughs> was getting in there, yeah. got a few sacks, but for some reason they let up. And um, quarterback took advantage. So second and 11 for New Bedford. Clock is stopped with 234. Empty backfield. Madero's here Screen. comes the pressure. Madero's has oh. to get rid of the football. Does pass intended for Abel Arinwa. And, and it was knocked down. And then a late way flag. Way down. Middle of the field. Oh. Way down in the secondary. Wow. Could be holding. Question, is it holding? Is it some kind that of. That is 5, 10, 50. That's almost 25 yards away way from the down play. Way field. Wow. The back judge throwing a flag nowhere near the Not play. Not even close. So obviously it can't be pass interference. No. It's either a hold or some type of unsportsmanlike. Good defense there by number 12, yep. Forts. Zach got his hand in there. Sure did. That was very interesting call. I, I haven't seen that. I'm not sure why they need the explanation here to the sideline. If it's a penalty, he's certainly yep. going to take it. Yep. Regardless of what it is. Yeah. It's going to get marked off from the line of scrimmage. Let's see what the call is. It's a five-yard five penalty. Five yard penalty. Illegal substitution. It's an illegal substitution oh penalty. Boy. So that's still a break. It's five yards and you retain the down. So it's second down. Wow. It's still second down. So big break there. And frankly, okay. glad it's that type of call. Would have hated it to have been a holding yeah. or some kind of personal foul. I, where know, I know Colombo didn't like it, but. That's on the yeah, coach. That, that's an easy told, one if there. You got, if, you got a, if you don't substitute properly, yeah. that's really on the sideline. Right. Oh, Barrow's uncovered here yeah. near side. They just didn't nah, snap the ball they'll early pick, enough. They'll pick that up. Oh, now they're putting Watterson oh, yeah. on Barrow's. Smart play. Madero's back. Trouble. Needs to get rid of the football. <laughs> Does not. Loses back the yardage he picked up. And the boxers did the right thing. Put some pressure on the quarterback. And they put Watterson on Barrows now. We've not seen Watterson playing corner. 
But now he's playing corner, guarding Barros. <clears throat> Clock is winding down, but New Bedford needs to convert here, so it's more important to take a little bit of time and get the right play call. And now it looks like a timeout. Bye. Must be Brockton, I would guess. No, nope, sideline. Sideline warning <clears throat> against Brockton. Brockton. No penalty. You get a warning the first time. Yep. They're going to reset the clock or hold the clock here. Now they're going to wind it. I would almost guarantee it's the same in cut that we saw earlier from Barros. As Medeiros looked to the side here to see where Barros was and who he's. He's got plenty being of room on that by. side. As a man, it's Barros. Pass yep. is intercepted. <laughs> Watterson read it, came up, and came up with a pick. Watterson will step out of bounds. At the 45-yard line, Chris uh, uh, kind of knew the knew the play yes. that was coming, said the deep it. in cut, and he read it. Perfectly. The, when the ball was thrown, if Watterson didn't step up, it would have been a completion. But he was playing free safety. Watch yep. it here. And just cuts right in front. But, I mean, you knew the – you kind of called the play, Joe, before it even <laughs> happened. So if you're seeing it, I'm sure the coaching staff had seen it and said, hey, watch that cut with Barrows. They want to go to their big guy. And, you know, it was interesting, Joe, because he had a lot of running room on, on the, the right. Side. Yeah. He had one guy to elude. If he gets by the one, he probably could have took off. Don't know how far he would have got, but I'm sure it would have been some real good positive yardage. Instead, he makes the throw, and he gets picked off, and this one's going to be it here. 144 left. Brockton with the football. Watterson, the lone running back. And keeping the football, it's the quarterback, Medley. Straight ahead, not much there. New Bedford will immediately call for a timeout. And that's it for New Bedford on yep. timeouts. Remember the old school, the way it used to work, you had five timeouts, you had all these timeouts to spend, not anymore. Now you have three timeouts, and that's it. As the referee signals, New Bedford out of timeouts. 135. Whalers need a turnover here of some type. And you know Brockton's going to run the football, so Brockton's going to have to protect the football at all costs because time is in their favor. I believe the Whalers would get it back, but with very, very little time left on the clock. But again, high school football, totally different than the NFL. Yep. So you can block a kick, you can get a kick return for a score. So just to get another chance to handle the football is big. And you're only going to get that if you can stop Brockton here and force them to punt. And, and, and if I was Brockton, I would put it in Watterson's hand. You would think so. Yeah. Watterson made the big play. Chris made a valid point. Again, you can read the plays in advance, like got to go to that play. That play worked, and you kind of knew what they were going to do on a long down and distance, deep in cut, and Watterson came storming up from the safety position to make the play. They're going to pitch it to Watterson on the outside. Watterson will get it out to about the 41. New Bedford without a timeout. Clock will go down under a minute. A little risky there that they would pitch the ball. Yes, I thought the same thing. You pitch the ball, it ends and up on the turf. Someone scoops and scores. Anything can happen when you pitch that football out there. Now, one thing the Brockton runners need, you know, I, you, you want to keep going, keep moving your feet. But when you have the clock on your side, once you get that tack, don't keep fighting because that's no more fight. of a chance the get ball getting stripped. Yeah, you, you don't need to fight. Once you get to a certain point, go down. Watterson offset to the left of the quarterback, Medley. He'll take the snap, give it to Watterson. Yeah. Watterson will be close to a first down. That's game. He'll have a first down as he crosses oh, he's the 35 it. and got it to the 33-yard line. And that'll be enough for a Brockton first down. And the Brockton sideline jubilant. As the boxers rank number four in Division I, We'll pick up a big win here today. Whalers coming in to this one, ranked number four in Division Two. So it'll be interesting to see where they end up 
in the playoffs where they play. Yeah. Clock is winding down. This will that will do it. They won't have to run another play. That's Division Two for New Bedford, and Natick, who's number number one in Division Two. They played Brockton. And beat them. Yeah, and beat them 35-25, so that must be a good Natick team. Um, but a good job by Brockton to control the emotions, Miles, and come in here uh, and do a good job as a couple of the New Bedford players are already not too happy as number four, obviously, Ethan Medeiros walks away without the handshakes. Yeah, and that was the key. You said it right there, Chris. Brockton was able to Calm down the emotions late in that second quarter. It helped with the getting that touchdown, mm -hmm. but they came out in the second half and kept their cool and played good defense and uh, somehow comes out, out of here with the win on enemy territory. So Brockton will come away with a win here today, 15 to eight. The boxers will improve to four and three. The Whalers will drop to six and one. Well, second half, scoreless half of football, guys. Yep. Chris, New Bedford had the one opportunity, obviously, with Barros. Yeah, that was a key play to the game because now if you get that one, you get momentum on your side and you do the job and there's a little stomping on the field uh, by one of the Brockton players and New Bedford takes uh, not too happy about that as he pushes him from behind. So motion still running high in this one and it's uh, getting that way right now here on the field. But if the Barrows comes up with that play, Joe could make a difference, uh, a turnaround, a little momentum swing, uh, put the pressure back on. And unfortunately, uh, it didn't work out here this afternoon, but give the boxes a lot of credit. Came in here with a game plan. They shut down Nigel pretty good. They kept Barrows under control, and they come away with a victory. All the scoring in the first half, New Bedford scoring first with 8.02 left. <laughs> In the second quarter, Ethan Medeiros, a 12-yard touchdown pass to Cameron Perry. With a two-point conversion, New Bedford had an 8-0 lead. Brockton answered right back on the following kickoff, getting the football downfield to Watterson on a 61-yard touchdown pass from the quarterback, Devontae Medley. And after the point after touchdown, it was 8-7. Then late in that first half, eight seconds remaining, you saw the touchdown pass again. This time, a 12-yard scoring pass from Medley to Navon Reed. Two-point conversion is good. Brockton had a 15-8 lead. Second half, no scoring. And that's the way it ends up. Brockton improving to 4-3 and three with a 15-8 win. New Bedford dropping to 6-1. and one. Well, as New Bedford drops to 6-1, and one, it's now up to the MIAA to find out and say, hey, okay, guys. This is where we go, and the same thing for Brockton. Where you want to put them, are you going to have a home game and host? Are you going to go on the road? Both teams have to come up and find a way to now see their next opponent, whoever uh, they, they get, see some film on them, and adjust for the next one. So it's playoff bound next, and then obviously finish up with their Thanksgiving rivalry and tradition. So, Miles, thanks for joining us here today. Miles Jackson from Brockton yep. Cable Access My spending pleasure. some time with us to uh, clue us in on the strengths and vulnerabilities of Brockton. He was right on point with the penalties, but yep. also a team that has a lot of talent. They were able to <laughs> come on the road here and defeat New Bedford 15-8. That will do it from Paul Walsh Field in New Bedford. Final score for a final time. It was Brockton 15, New Bedford 8. For my partner Chris Santos and for Miles Jackson from Brockton Cable Access, I'm Joe Cabral. Thanks for joining us this afternoon, and have a good afternoon, everyone.